So Mary, tell me a little bit about what you do on Selling Sunset. So I'm an agent, a real estate agent and at the Oppenheim Group and um, on Selling Sunset, I guess I'm, uh, I'm just one of, one of the cast members that, that sells homes in the hills and, um, and flaunt my beautiful husband around. <laughs> he is very beautiful. You're very lucky. Yeah, he's amazing too. That's good. That's good. Does he have a brother? No. <laughs> he dies, but he's married. Oh, okay. We can <laughs> try. I so uh, what made you decide you want to do the show? Well, I mean, I was an agent at the Oppenheim Group already. And then, I, you know, I was hesitant at first because you just don't know how you're going to be portrayed, if, if you're going to be twisted in some way, if, if you're going to look bad to, to your clients. And that was my biggest concern to, for my family and my clients. Um, if I don't know people, I really, it doesn't matter to me what people think of me. Um, it, but for the people in my life, I don't want to embarrass them or, or come off as someone like they would be embarrassed of. Yeah. Very nice. And what would you say other than that was the biggest challenge about doing the show? The biggest show. Um, Ooh, either juggling the filming with my with my busy work schedule or or trying to get used to I no honestly I think it's getting used to um, to the different dynamics that it's caused between the cast members um, you know when when it's just us without any press without anything without cameras it was a little bit more tame I mean we can still have interactions that like where we disagree on things but once we we have scenes and it's edited down and and then you just see you know drama after drama after drama and then for months after it airs we like every single one of us are doing interviews and and being asked about stuff and then we hear what the other person says and we're like what <laughs> and so i think that that has been a challenge trying to trying to understand what the new dynamic is and try to grow with it. Like the show's growing and we have to adapt and grow with it if we, if we want to, you know, have good relationships with each other. And I think what communication say, is key. And what would you say was the biggest surprise you about being on the show? Like something that was so unexpected for you? how popular it was going to be. I mean, I, uh, I like, I always make a joke because people never remembered who I was. I could meet them 10 times and I'm not, I'm not a super chatty person. I don't go up to, to people if I don't know who you are and just start telling my life story. And so, you know, I kind of sit back a little bit more reserved and, and I could, I could inter be introduced to one of Jason's friends say like, or, um, and 10 times. And I'm like, hi, good to see you. They're like, hi, nice to meet you. And I'm like, I've met you so many times. Oh and, then, and then Jason walks in the room or Romaine walks in the room and they've met him one time. They're like, yo, bro, what's up? And I'm like, what? And then now everyone's like, like, I mean, people come up, they know us, they know our story, they know everything about us and people are so interested. So it's, it's just kind of mind boggling because that's never been the case for me that people want to know like things about me or they want to know what I eat. They want to know what I'm, what I do for a workout, what I'm wearing. And I'm like, I've never had this. It's new. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. And who would you say you're closest with on the show? That's, that's a, it's a, it's a very close tie between, um, between Jason and Amanda. I mean, Amanda has been my best friend for 20 years and I, th I would say they're equal. They're just different. Um, uh, yeah, they're both my best friends, but I'm, I'm become very, very close to Chrishell as well. Love her as well. I love everybody on this show. So I grew up watching Chrishell actually on the soap opera. So uh, on the, all my children. Yes. You know what? I, my mom used to watch all my children and, and I thought it, I had no idea. She told me that. I'm like, what? Wait, who, what character did you play? She said, Amanda. I'm like, oh. <gasps> I remember you and I never put it together. I'm like, oh my God, I'm hanging out with Amanda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was I like, can... it was so funny. Nikos. That's great. And <laughs> what would you say, what advice would you give to someone that wants to go into real estate? Oh, um, go with a brokerage that has a mentor system that like where someone's there showing you the ropes, guiding you along because the real estate exam does not cover like 90% of what you need in, in the field. 
um, to be a successful agent. Um, so I would really recommend going with a very good reputable brokerage um, that will kind of, you know, help guide you in the right direction. And what made you want to be an agent by, um, yourself? Uh, because I used to, I, I've always loved it, and I used to move constantly uh, because I just loved the process, and it was so expensive, and and it wasn't good for my son. I mean, we would stay in the same school district, but I was just, I just wanted to find a new place and have that the whole process of of looking, finding the one, getting moved in, and um, and so finally I thought, this is dumb. Why don't I make money at it instead of spending money? And so I can do it for other people, and I can stay put. <laughs> and I like that. Yeah, that's what I did. I started in the South Bay um, in like Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Palos Verdes, and I, I loved it. Um, and and then once I moved back from from uh, London and New York, then I got back into it over here with with Jason. Very nice. And how did your son feel about mommy being on TV? <laughs> He's a uh, He's, he's so quiet. Um, he barely watched the first season and, and I kept asking him. He never, he's like, no, I haven't watched it yet. I'm like, don't you want to know how I'm paying your bills? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I don't know. And season two, he watched it and he was like, he thought it was pretty cool. And he sees people come up to me recognizing me and he's like, it's weird. <laughs> and then now season three, I think it's just a whole new, whole new situation. I'm a, I'm trying to move him out here, actually. Um, I really hope he, he wants to come so so he can be around more and, and he, I don't know, I get my, my baby back. Well, how old is he? He's 23, but he's, oh. he, yeah, he's been in, in college in Arizona. So I'm, I'm trying to get him out here and I'm like, I can hook you up with, uh, with like connections, like for a job. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping he listens, but who knows? He's, he's 23. He's, he can do what he wants. You look so young. I thought you were in your twenties. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I just had my 40th birthday. Well, you don't look it. You look amazing. Yeah. So uh, how do you think the show has evolved since the first season? Oh, I think it's evolved. Um, I think in the first season, we were all very nervous and kind of held back. Um, we didn't, we weren't used to being in front of the cameras. We didn't know what to expect. So we were all kind of, you know, reserved. Um, and then as each season, I think we just open up more and more. And then I think you see our characters and, and our personalities evolving. Um, you know, first thing you kind of get a glimpse of, of who we are. And then each, each season, it dives in a little bit deeper and reveal more about our about our lives and our characters now is there any anything that's off the table for you because i know there's sometimes things that i watch other reality shows and they're like we don't want to talk about that is there like anything that you would never film or not not really i mean not anything no i mean there are certain things like that i i I prefer not to talk about, like in my past, to protect people in my life. In my right, past. right, right. Yeah. Um, but, but no, anything in my life now, um, I, I'm pretty much an open book. That makes sense. And if there's a fourth season, what do you hope happens for you guys? You want to go more into your career or lives, or what do you want to see happen? Um, 50 50, I think. I mean, I, I always, I, I always like having real estate as, as like the main thing because that's that is what takes up most of my life. Um, but but also I think it's fun to share uh, our journey and Romaine and, and my journey together. Um, we're going to be start buying a home and, and doing, you know, a flip. We'll probably start with a smaller flip at first, um, not like a massive like full-on new construction but um so we'll probably do that on season four um i'm gonna freeze my eggs or embryos on on season four i already went in on season three but it didn't make the cut um i think they didn't realize Chriselle's divorce and everything was going to happen and so we did a bunch of filming but obviously that takes priority um oh sure yeah so um, yeah, I think that once I, I'll, that would probably be on it once I actually go in and do it, which I need to, because I'm, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> yeah. Preaching at a choir here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a fun fact about yourself that might surprise people. Something about myself that would surprise yeah. you? Yeah, a fun fact. Mm. 
Um, I don't know. Um, but I don't know. I, I've always, I, I think people probably can tell. I've always been kind of like a tomboy and just like a, uh, I've never been super girly or anything like that. I, I mean, I like, you know, to get dressed up on occasion and stuff, but I've always been just, uh, when I was young, I was the biggest tomboy. I used to go down to the lake at the end of the street and catch tadpoles and watch them grow and, and like do all this crazy stuff, climb trees and go hunting and, and, but as I've grown up, I just, I kind of still, I'm just kind of chill. And, but I think people see that. So that's not really something. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'll get back to you. And since we're a TV site, what are you watching on TV these days? Uh, okay. Well, I just watched a movie, um, a lost husband, uh, that was on, and I love that movie. It, it, it makes me think about the country again. I'm like, I need to go visit my family. <laughs> um, and then I started watching, my sister came over last night and I watched a, a new series called Riviera. Ooh, and, nice. And that was on, I think that's on Amazon Prime or something, but um, I watched that and I'm loving it. But yeah, I, I think Succession, uh, Riviera's kind of, it seems like that kind of thing. I, I like those kind of movies or shows. Yeah. Yeah, they're really good, really good. There's so many, and I can at least now we have time, we can watch them, but there's so many. It's like, what do I choose first? <laughs> yeah, I haven't had much time, but um, but I'm glad everyone else has, because I think it helped our, our show. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you can tell what I watch, Psych. Oh, yeah. You know what? I love that show. Um, oh, I did, I did see that in the background, and I, I didn't even put it together. I love it. Yeah, I, I had um, a when it was out, um, they had some kind of psych party that I hosted and they sent me a whole bunch of psych stuff. So I'm like, no, it's, I've decorated everything with it. And my apartment in Pittsburgh has a whole bunch of pineapples all over the place. <laughs> Love it. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> yeah, and Monk as well. I don't know if you've seen that one yet. I haven't seen that, no. Yeah, I definitely recommend that. Yeah, okay, I'll watch it. Great. And is there anything else you would like to tell your fans before I let you go? Um, I don't know. Keep, keep watching. Keep, keep binging um, so that we make sure we get season four. Keep our ratings up. Thank you, trust. We <laughs> want it. We want it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, honey, for speaking to us. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.